I want to get to some health news now. A groundbreaking new medical study just out that could help you fix your genetic flaws. Did you even know you had any? Well, these are actually flaws that doctors say could eventually lead to disease. And scientists at the University of California at Berkeley are now exploring whether DNA tests can help to pinpoint these genetic flaws. And now doctors are saying that maybe they could fix them with these specially prescribed uh, vitamins, specially prescribed just for you. The Department of Defense, interestingly enough, is partially funding this study because of the potential to improve the soldier's performance on the battlefield with these superpowered vitamins. Dr. Stephen Garner from New York Methodist joins us now. All right, Dr. Garner, can your genetic flaws, assuming that we all have them, they can actually be cured with a vitamin? It, it seems that way. Actually, there's a test. Uh, we've, we've uncovered the human genome, genome which has about 25,000 genes that control everything in the body. Some of these genes, when they go awry, cause cancer and other problems. What this group of scientists have done is found 600 uh, enzymes or chemicals that control many of body, body functions. They find that there are specific vitamin deficiencies that cause these enzymes to work poorly and cre create uh, conditions such as diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer's. And what they were doing now is taking out the, the defective genes, putting it in the yeast culture, and by adding vitamins, the specific vitamins in very high doses, they're able to reverse the defect. Wow. Um, you know, we, when we talk about using them on the battlefield and, and making the performance better, I mean, how much improvement are we talking about here? Well, this could be similar to steroids for athletes. What you're doing is you can uncover, if somebody has a tendency to become tired easily, you can find the gene that causes that, give a, let's say, vitamin B12 or whatever the vitamin is, and this person won't become tired and can fight for hours on the battlefield. Wow, and they'd be safer than steroids, I assume? And no, no harmful effects because the, the normal defects or mutations that occur, as the body goes on and divides, sometimes it divides incorrectly, and that's known as a mutation. When that gene mutates, a defect occurs. It may cause cancer, it may cause a, a defect in the way you look or feel. And now they've hit 600, they have 600 chemicals that they can control. And many of the body's um, diseases that we get can be cured with it. All right, Doctor, I was reading that some of these genetic flaws are really common, and like one of three of us have them. Why can't we just figure out a vitamin now and then give it to everybody? And maybe it'll help, maybe it won't hurt. You know, the problem is that if you take too many vitamins, many of them build up toxic levels, and you can't do that. So only if you have a deficiency should you be taking very high levels. But all of our requirements are based on 1940 studies, all these minimum daily requirements okay. that you see, the multivitamins, that all goes back to 1940s. So taking 10 centrums or multivitamins a day is going to do you more harm than good. Uh -huh. But if we found that you needed vitamin B12 to overcome something, then you could be given very high doses and it could be monitored. So it needs to be something specific. Okay, last question for you, Doc. Is there a downside to this that ultimately maybe when I'm going to apply for a job that they would genetically test me and say, well, you know what, John Scott has fewer genetic flaws than Jane Skinner does, so That's we'll hire possible. John. No, it's not possible. It is possible. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's some ethical issues, too. I mean, what about uh, one athlete using this because he's got the money to afford the test and another one not? I mean, right. you have different problems that can occur. And he can afford more vitamins than I can. Uh, we all know that. Yeah, that's, get your pebbles out there. Dr. Stephen okay. Garner, New York Methodist. Doc, good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. John is a specimen, by I the way. I get all the vitamins I need from beer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well,